So I'm Anthony from HashersNet, and today, techies, we are looking at two products that we use here for Antenna TV so we don't have to pay for another cable box or hook up another Wi-Fi signal or landline or whatever. And on your left, you see the Philips HD Signal Finder Amplified Antenna. It goes by other names. You see it in the description. And then on the right is the MediaSonic Digital Converter Box. And also long and keyword namey things on the internet. Uh, again, links in the description. Uh, real quick, thanks to Antenna Man, uh, who's based out of Pennsylvania. He has a YouTube channel. Link also in the description for his website, where um, he helped me get what I needed to get. Now, keep in mind, I live in the Cleveland metropolitan area in Ohio, so the signal from about 35 miles is a decent range and the antenna does perfectly well for it it actually puts on a standard deaf tv a good looking picture and um so these are the two boxes and let's put this out of the way for a second we're going to look at this one real quick and it says uh it is by the way it is coaxial so you can just screw it in uh full 1080p uh, 4K, you can standard or mount it. Uh, we just have it standing. It is really good in finding signals. Heck, even unpowered, it's still really good. Almost no difference, which, you know, could say one thing or the other. Uh, it has a signal booster, which we don't necessarily need because we're only 35 miles away. Blocks interference. I I, I could say, yeah, probably, because there's, there's houses in the way. Uh, and um, it, 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 I can say for certainty the AV connection does filter noise. And I don't know about 4K, it's a standard deaf TV. So, on the box back here, it's just more details about the box. 60 mile range, blah, blah, blah. Uh, weather, blah, blah, blah. You know, whatever. It's, it's the typical antenna stuff. It's a good antenna, if you're within the distance we are, it, it works powered or not. So, great. But then we go back to the digital converter box. Now... I was surprised this thing retails for 35 ish on Amazon and the antenna at Target is like 50, 60 bucks. I think I got into it for 45 during the holidays. Uh, this was just a, like, I did not expect anyone who is so into antennas like Antenna Man to recommend something this, what seemingly is low quality, but is actually fantastic. And if you add a USB drive to it, you get. DVR. It's like, wow. So it, it translates uh, the signal that you grab out of the air and converts it digitally, which is just perfect. And um, nothing too fancy about the box. And just on the back, it shows uh, some, you know, here's some connection stuff. You can add to a hard drive, USB drive. Uh, there's the antenna brick um, or, you know, the, uh, the line from the antenna, which oddly enough is kind of the antenna we have. Uh, then the connection here to the TV. Uh, I recommend, again, the AV connection. The coaxial wasn't quite as good. Uh, but um, here's the box here. It explains what it does. Power in, power out, etc. Now, if we go and put these things back, I can just talk about it a little bit. And then I'm going to show a little bit of clip of um, the quality of the video here. Um, yeah, you could mount this. But you basically handicap yourself if you want to get a signal that's coming from a different direction. Now, uh, we live literally a mile or two south of Lake Erie. So we could, in theory, on a really good day, pick up Canadian channels. The lake is about 45 to 60 miles wide, depending on which area you're in of it. I think we're in the kind of moderate area of distance because the max it's 60. Um, so, and we have, in, in history, historically have picked up Canadian channels on occasion on real nice days. So that, that is where the amplification comes in, but right now we're not picking anything up. It's, it's basically our NBC affiliate, our ABC affiliate, uh, some um, low power channels, and uh, I believe PBS. So we're not, uh, we're not going crazy here. And I think we have um, what is one of those channels where it's all syndicated programming and they just play it locally because no one else does. So we're not expecting miracles from this. Uh, there is no internet going on here. This is straight up over the air antenna picking up and uh, th You know this picks it up this converts it and puts it in your TV. That is it So don't let anybody trick you into buying garbage and this is the MediaSonic Homeworks 
DVR box. It's right now in standby, hence the red button. So if I click on it, uh, it will switch to a green light. And as you see, it is loading on the screen here. It is basically a little DVR, so that's, that's what you get. And uh, we're just going to wait for a sec while that does that. And then here we go. It's starting to pick up a signal. And keep in mind that the antenna is not even on. So this is the signal from the NBC affiliate. And if we look at the device here, there's an audio video, a power, and then there's coaxial cable. So uh, in from the antenna, out to the television. And then there's the power brick for the antenna. And uh, if we look down, we will see that they're all plugged into the wall over here. And uh, nothing too fancy there. And, of course, uh, if we go up, here's the antenna. And as you see, the antenna is off. So there is no blue lights. But if we click on it, and then it will try to pick up the signals from, well, in this case, to the east. Don't mind the dust. This TV is over 30 years old. Uh, as you see, it has a DVD player and uh, a VHS tape deck. And... Um, as we're looking at the screen, I'm switching between the channel setting and then the aux setting. The aux setting, which is with the RBG cables, is just so much better uh, than the direct cable coax connection. So obviously when we, we do this, we stay with the version using the audio video on aux. And uh, it's just a much better picture. It may be different for your TV, who knows. Um, but... Uh, as we go through the channel, you'll see that they're actually pretty clear. Uh, I would play the audio, but I don't want to get struck by playing some audio, so it, it is muted. But as you can see on the screen, there's little quality bars. Now, we're going to put on the antenna here, and I'll tell you right now, the antenna works so well without the boost being put on that it isn't really necessary. But for, for the sake of this, I'll show with the boost on the antenna. And you will notice that there is very little difference. Now, here's the remote, and that came with the DVR unit. So I use this for audio and channels controls. It's just a lot easier. And as we flip through the channels, you can see what is on. You can see the channel's strength. And as you can tell, most of them are pretty high up, which is super impressive. Now, here's the ABC affiliate. And the uh, picture is not bad. Uh, it does get cropped a little bit because of the fact that it is, you know, on a, on a standard analog TV. And then here is the guide. And as you see, Channel 3 is our NBC affiliate. And then we go back to 61 is an independent. 25 is PBS. And so on. And um, so we, we have about, uh, I want to say, 25 channels. Now, the only difference for us, at least putting the boost on versus the way this TV is working now, is simply the matter of the boost will help the signal integrity. It doesn't really help quality because the quality is already super good. So that is something that I think is worth noting, that if you're close enough to this, the channels or the, the stations are 35 miles away, it is actually pretty nifty. With that said, tell me in the comments what you thought about this device. Are you planning to get one? Do you have any questions? Let me know and I will try to answer them. Thanks for watching and please remember to like and subscribe.